What's going on everyone? I hope you're having a fantastic day. What's going on? I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a tank sprayer. I just bought this about a week ago on Craigslist, so yes, I bought it used for 10 bucks. Uh, my line of thinking is if it works and I get it nice and clean, I spent 10 bucks on a really good, uh, it's a Flowmaster HD4. Um, I guess that's good, I honestly don't know. It's 10 bucks, so I'm okay with spending 10 bucks on a sprayer if it works. And if it doesn't work, I'm just out 10 bucks, so yeah, it's okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so it is used, and the previous owner told me that he used it mainly just to kill weeds. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like in here. That is yucky. So, it's been used, and I know that, so I want to try to clean it, because I do plan on using this um, for a whole range of purposes. I'm not, you know, I think most people, I could be wrong about this, but I feel like the average homeowner is only going to have one tank sprayer. Most of the cans just a, a hand can, it's not an actual backpack sprayer. I feel like they only have one, so they kind of use it to put down fertilizer, put down pesticides, put down herbicides. So. I just have this one, so I'm gonna use it for everything. Now, typically you can get away with just after every time you clean or you use it for a product, you go ahead and you can just rinse it out with a hose and be done with it. Um, but because this one is set, and if you let yours sit, of course there's now the heater going, um, then it's gonna get like that residue in there and you wanna make sure it's clean. So I actually bought this. We're going to be using Monterey Spray Tank Cleaner. Removes and deactivates residual pesticide contamination from spray equipment. Hopefully that also can include herbicide contamination from spray equipment. So we're just going to go ahead and give it a shot because why not? It costs $12.56 for this one pint container. So it's not overly expensive and because it's three tablespoons per two gallons of water, you're going to get several uses out of this so it's not that bad of an investment and it's always good to keep your equipment extra clean right right some of the tools you're gonna to need for this job are some kind of backpack sprayer your cleaner a tablespoon protective eyewear although I try to do something better than reading glasses but that's all I have some kind of rubber gloves. I have these Grease Monkey uh, rubber gloves. They say for tune-up, wash and wax, painting, oil change, and extra grip. So it seems like these are more meant for automotive work, so hopefully they work for this too, but just some kind of hand protection because you are dealing with some kind of chemical. The ingredients for this are potassium hydroxide, anti-corrosion anti compounds, sequestering agents, non-ionic and ionic surfactants, and polydiscomethylsane. I have my gloves, I have my glasses. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm actually add a step to this. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. I'm gonna spray it with water first, and um, just swish it around real quick and pump it up and spray it out before I actually put the cleaner in there. Get some of the residual stuff out first before I put the cleaner, so. So I sprayed out most of the water. Just getting, like I said, some of that residual stuff in there out of the way. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this in there. Like I said, it says it needs to be uh, one and a half fluid ounces or three tablespoons per two gallons of water. So I already, like I said, I didn't clean out all the water. So I'm gonna put a gallon of water, three tablespoons of the cleaner, then a gallon of water. Then you swish it around then you spray it out of the hose. So, let's go ahead and do that. Thank you. 
container in there. I have water in there. So now we're gonna, now it says to shake it up and sort of agitate it. So that is what I am going to do. Now that I've agitated it by shaking it, the directions say to just let it sit for 15 minutes. Uh, I'll let it sit for 15 minutes. So we'll be back. It's been 15 minutes. I'm curious what it looks like inside. Foamy. All right, next step is that now you just gotta pump it out of the tank because you also want it to go through. I'm actually gonna up buying because this hose looks, like this thing looks like it's been sitting outside is what it looks like. Um, so I'm actually probably gonna up buying a new hose. I mean, it's still, it's not like it's fragile or anything, but it's just brown here. So still want it to look somewhat nice. But anyway, because you also want to get the cleaner um, through the hose out the tip so <laughs> so but you don't want to spray on your grass I'm not gonna spray it in my garage so I'm actually gonna take it out onto the driveway and pump it and get all of this garbage out of here so let's do that That is how you clean a backpack sprayer. Now it does say to now once you spray out all the cleaner, you want to go ahead and put like another gallon of water in it and spray that out too just to get the residual cleaner out of it. But for the most part, that's it. I mean, it doesn't actually look any different in there if I'm honest, I'll show you the exact same in there. Um, I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be like bleach or anything or some kind of corrosive to really um, scrub out. I don't know how long it sat in there, whatever cleaner or whatever pesticides or herbicides were in here. I don't know how long they sat. But as long as um, the, like I said, the residuals of it are cleaned out, I think that's... But I've taken a risk buying something used, not really knowing what products he used. But hopefully this cleaner does its job and deactivates those uh, chemicals and everything like that and makes it almost uh, as good as new other than being stained. So that is how you clean a backpack or any kind of tank sprayer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and do that last little rinse out part here, but I'm not going to show you guys that. But I hope you guys found it useful and um, you clean your own sprayers every once in a while. So. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day and God bless.